Hello, Dinky Doo. It's just me, Scotty McClue, with a quick periscope pop up. Now, today this is very, very important. The question I'd like to ask you is in the interests of road safety, do you think that all women drivers should be taken off the road during rush hour? Right? Obviously, women are coordinated differently and they have a different spatial awareness and you can get a lot more accidents with women drivers. But uh, the thing is, should they be taken off the road during rush hour? Obviously, you don't want to be taking the women off the road all the time, altogether. You know, I think there should be times when, uh, when women should be allowed on the road, if the roads are quiet. But during rush hour in all our major towns and cities throughout the world, perhaps it would make the roads an awful lot safer if we said no women drivers during rush hour. All right, so it's just during the rush hour. And before any of you start, I've got absolutely nothing against women or women drivers or anything like that at all. This is not that kind of issue. This is purely an issue of road safety. So tell us what you think. Do you agree with me that women drivers would be better off the road during rush hour? All right. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the program. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live. And uh, we're live on Periscope, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Scotty, L plates on the motorway soon. Yes, absolutely. No, Scotty. Women should not be allowed to drive during rush hour. So there you are. So tell us what you think, of course. Um, get to your uh, typing and um, give us your ideas. Yes, they should be allowed on the road, says James. Why do you say that, James? Do you not think it is dangerous to have our women on the road during rush hour? So there we are. That's what we're talking about. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, here for you live on Periscope. A quick lunchtime pop-up just to say hi. And uh, also to put this very, very important point to you. Uh, look at the stats. More men crash their cars than women. Not true, James. Of course, I don't know where you've got that from. I think you've just made that up. So there you are. I mean, remember, I am very, very pro-women here, and I am pro quite pro-women drivers, but not during Russia in the interests of road safety. So you can tell us what you think about that. Get in touch with me, Scotty McClure. We're live on Periscope right now. We're live on Facebook Live a lot of the time. We have the big show on a Sunday night live on Facebook Live. Scotty, old guys like yourself should have a mandatory retest and reset. I'm not an old guy. Don't be fooled by that. I've crashed my car. My sister hasn't. Yeah, but I mean, that might have been mitigating circumstances, James. It's unlikely you crashed your car because you're a guy. Probably it was the other person's fault, I would think. Or perhaps your sister doesn't even drive. So there we are. So there's statistics and statistics, isn't there? And then there's damned lies, as they say. So there we go. So very important subject today, guys. If you've just joined us, should women be allowed to drive during rush hour? James says, I was checking out a girl and then I crashed. Well, that'll teach you. You need to keep your eyes on the road at all times. Your sister could have been checking out a guy and she could have had a crash. Who knows what is what? So there we are. So that's our main subject for discussion. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's lunchtime pop-up live on Periscope. That's the big one. The one everyone's talking about. The one everyone is watching. Scotty McClue single-handedly is changing the way all of us watch television. So there you are. Very, very important. Invite all your followers to join us, of course. If you look down, it will say, invite your followers to join Scotty McClue. Click on that. Share this uh, device. Uh, sexist. No, nothing sexist at all about me, I can tell you that. Uh, I think they should drive. Yes, but during rush hour. That's what I'm talking about. My wife, yap, 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 while I'm driving. Do you think gagging her? would help improve my driving. Gagging the wife, help improve the driving. I don't know. Uh, the police actually stopped a friend of mine and said, your wife's just fallen out at the roundabout back there. And he said, thank goodness, 
I thought I'd gone deaf. Um, I'm way better as a driver than my husband. Are you on a healthy diet? I'm on a very, very healthy diet. Obviously, I'm a big bodybuilder, so this is solid muscle, my dear. How old are you? I am 38. So there you are, 38 years of age. And uh, so I'll be driving for a good long while yet. I can tell you that for absolutely nothing. No way. Yes, absolutely way. So there you go. Uh, I've just had a long paper round and a very, very tough life. Now, uh, lots to talk about. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the world's top broadcaster, Scotty McClure, live with you here on Periscope Live. Uh, you have grey hair. Yes, of course. My friend is 28 and he has absolutely grey, grey, grey silver hair. So there you are. That's nothing to do with it. That's a genetic thing. My, uh, my family all went grey quite young. So there you are. Right, um, get in touch. I'm sorry, but you're not that age. All right, I might be younger. I'm just saying I'm 38 to make me look more mature. I might be a lot younger, James. Fair enough. Fair dues, I say. Right, uh, main subject for discussion today. Should women be taken off the road during rush hour in the interests of road safety? Let me know what you think. Or older, says James. No, not at all, James. We, you go. Uh, you and I will have a fallout. I'll stop reading out your stuff if you come out with nonsense like that. Uh, spread the word, guys. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue broadcasting live on Periscope. This is the big one. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching, and the one everyone is listening to. Check out Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, 36,000 hours of unscripted broadcasting. Yes, um, uh, now here's somebody saying about if they wear the burqa, it hinders observation. I don't think it does, because if you look at somebody with the burqa, then you will see that their eyes are clear. Is this for real? Very much so. Ciao, ciao to you. Are you in Italy? Lovely to hear from you. If you're coming on, do tell us where you are throughout the world. Very, very important. If you've just joined us, a warm welcome to the world's biggest talk show. The world's top talk show with me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, just for you on Periscope. Why do you think women are such bad drivers? I don't think they're bad drivers. I think it's a coordination thing. Women have a different spatial awareness. They're actually wired for protecting the young, for protecting their babies. And uh, if you think about it, how often have you flashed your lights to a lady, letting her go, and she doesn't go, and then she doesn't go, and then she doesn't go until it's too late, and it's actually dangerous. So there you are. The number of times you've seen dangerous women drivers on the road. Uh, with all of town folk, uh, thank you very much. That is even better than we'd expected. Of course, we're just starting. And what you'll find if you look at Scotty McClure's Periscope broadcasts, you'll find that they're up in the many, many thousand. All right, so help yourself on there. Hola! Hola to you. Are you from Spain? Are you from Madrid or from Barcelona? So there you go. Come and say hola to Scotty McClure. We are worldwide, of course. Um, I don't think they are dangerous. No, you maybe don't think they're dangerous, James, but then maybe you haven't had the experiences that some of the rest of us have had. If you've had near misses, it's nearly always with a woman driver. So there you are. And all I'm saying is, just for rush hour, just clear the roads of women drivers during rush hour because they have a different way of thinking. I hope one of them runs you over. You're in a dis disgusting excuse and an apology for everything wrong in the world. <laughs> but in all fairness, men are the same. They jump out in front of you. On a motorbike, you need to look over your shoulder. So there we are. You do indeed. It would hinder. So there you are. It would hinder. Tell us what you think, of course. You're watching Scotty McClure. We've got the World's Top Talk Show live on Periscope just for you. Dinky-doo. There's a lot of talk of, uh, are you married? Is that a proposal, James? Um, so there we go. Um, just for you to let you know, there's a lot of talk of the Scotty McClure breakfast show coming your way. Would you like that? It would start at 6 in the morning and go on until 6.30. So there we are. Who said that? You're a disgrace. That is absolutely shocking. Uh, no, what does your wife think about your views? 
It's not my views. I'm just making the world a bit safer here. And I'm suggesting to you, I'm asking, would you agree that it would make sense to take the women off the road during rush hour? That's all we're talking about. There's nothing sexist about it. Benny Hill is alive and well. Yes, women should be off the road. Uh, hola, hola, hola to you. Uh, it wouldn't make it any safer, says, who's that? Jasmine, Jasmine. Well, it may, Jasmine. I'm, all I'm saying is, would you back the experiment to take the women off the roads and see if it cuts down on the accidents and makes people feel safer? Regard, regard day to you. Scotty, research cannabis for anti-information purposes. That's a great discussion. Yeah, but I mean, cannabis, as we know, is very, 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 very dangerous. Affects the brain and shortens your life. They can drive as much as they like as men. Wow, lol. Men have more accidents than women. How can you see your mirror when you can barely move your jowls? What are you talking about? This is solid muscle. I'm a bodybuilder, for goodness sake. These are absolutely solid. Look, see? No jowls. Gone. Gone. Ah! All right. Hello. Hello, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster with the world's top talk show. Check it out on Twitter and on YouTube, on Facebook, on Google+, Plus, on LinkedIn. There we are. You're an old man. Well, I'm 38 years of age. So if you call 38 old, then that's fair enough. We'll run with that. Um, get uh, your reactions in quickly, guys. Come on, because we haven't got all day. Time with Scotty McClure is very, very precious and very, very well spent. Make sure you share this broadcast right now. Look down at your device and get sharing. That's ridiculous, uh, saying that cannabis is highly beneficial and has no effect. No, no, it doesn't. It's not beneficial at all. Of course, it affects the mind. A very, very dangerous thing, cannabis. Keep clear of drugs that are not natural to your body so there we are opinions yes absolutely coming in we're talking today about women drivers would it make sense to take women off the road during rush hour all right very important uh, what drugs are natural well uh, plants uh, stuff apart from things like cannabis that's not a natural drugs things that are naturally occurring in your body that's where all your natural stuff is so cannabis no not cannabis james we're not actually discussing cannabis at the moment we're discussing women drivers so there we are uh cannabis affects the mind not the medicinal side that's nonsense that's natural james we're not saying it's not natural it's not naturally occurring in the body all right, so there you are. It's an external foreign drug. Don't introduce it to your body. It's been proven it damages the brain and shortens your life. Get that into your head. And remember, Scotty McClue told you. Uh, neither is alcohol. Do you drink? No, I do not drink. So there you are. Um so excellent stuff right get some sensible comments come on i don't want idiots on here i want sensible things the brain the brain is a cannabinoid receptor in the brain it's very healthy nonsense research it i have researched it i know all about these things you're talking to a very 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 experienced man and a very 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 experienced broadcaster 40 years excellent um so there we go uh well, we're getting nonsense now. I'm just going to, uh, what I'll do is, I'll just dump you. There we go. I've just block that person and um, just an idiot asking to see my belly button. So there we are. Uh, you're talking nonsense. Yes, cannabis affects the mind. There are different strains. Yeah, but you don't want any of them anywhere near your precious mind. Okay. Nice tie, Scotty. Thanks. Uh, 40 years. Yes, 40 years. All that sort of thing. You're 38. Wow, that's right. Uh, two years before I came onto the earth, I was broadcasting. How good is that? 
They are fantastic. Right. Uh, sorry, man. This guy's 78. You're 78, James? Good. Congratulations to you. Many, many happy returns and many more happy years on the earth, I say. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, just for you. Lunchtime pop-up, quick discussion. Uh, so there you are. Your podcasts are greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you very much. I do enjoy doing them, and I hope everyone enjoys them. Get on to YouTube. I need about another 20 of you to click subscribe on the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Go and do it now. How many followers have you got, mate? I've got, um, I think we've got 52,000 hearts. Let's have that at 55,000. Uh, on uh, YouTube, we've got 350,000 have uh, have viewed the Scotty McClure YouTube. I have 10 million followers on my website, the Scotty McClure website. So excellent stuff there. We have many, many of these broadcasts with thousands and thousands of viewers. So spread the word. Let's get the hearts up, guys. Uh, I should have millions by now. I've got 55,000 hearts. Let's have a million hearts. So tap, 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 tap on your screen right now as we speak very 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 important there we are just bring in a tiny little bit more light for you there guys excellent stuff so you can view the mcclue paths right uh, today's main subject for discussion we're talking about women drivers so there you are do you have kids says james well why are you asking so there you are uh, you know, I, I don't go asking you all about things. Do you play video games? No, I don't play video games. I have to say that. Although I can remember a friend of mine saying to me, um, why don't you go to the BBC for a continuity announcer's job, a network continuity announcer's job with the British Broadcasting Corporation? And then another friend who'd actually done the job said, I wouldn't go for that, son. It's like a big video game where all the odds are stacked against you. So there you are. Marvellous stuff. Right. Uh, do let me have your reactions. Very, very important. Pop up. We've got reactions switched on, notifications switched on. So feel free to come on. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster with the world's top talk show. There you go. I can offer you 36,000 hours of live unscripted broadcasting on television, radio. Also, we have online experience. We have outdoor experience. So if you're a media mogul, you get in touch with me. You make me laugh, says James. Well, you make me laugh, James. Well, you do make me laugh, I have to say. Right. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. People joining us all the time. Share the broadcast with all of your followers. Every single one of you, share the broadcast with your followers. Women in automatic cars equals an accident. Well, there we are. Uh, you're not laughing, though. Uh, I never said I was laughing. So there you are. Um, I've lost the will to live. Well, let's see if we can get that back for you. What do you think about France? Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Women are equal to men in driving. No, this is one area where women are not in any shape or form equal to men. Uh, you said you make me laugh. No, you said you make me laugh. So there we are. They shouldn't drive um, during the, um, well, there we are. You can read that one for yourself. I won't go reading that one out and embarrassing everybody. Uh, right, but um, do give us a call. Tell us what you think on your, uh, well, I say give us a call. Do give us your reaction. They're better than men. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You're talking nonsense. Right, there we are. Men have been driving for many, 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 many years. And we all know that uh, they are a lot safer on the roads than their female counterparts. So I'm only talking in the interests of road safety. I'm a big woman follower. I'm a big fan of women, but not at the wheel during rush hour. Very, very important. So do tell us what you think about that. Come on as soon as you possibly can onto Periscope. Uh, you're watching Scotty McClure. They're better. I'm sure my mum's a better driver than you. Well, you're 78, so what age is your mum? Do tell us, James. I think it's very important. Let women rule the world. Well, yes, they can rule the world, but just don't drive during rush hour. That's all I'm saying. 
So there we are. It's all very well. James is 89 now. So there you go. Oh, no, your mum's 89. And you're 78. So, no, that doesn't ring up either. Um, why do women get cheaper car insurance? Well, I think because there's fewer of them on the road. The men see them coming and they give them a wide berth. I mean, there's even been talk about putting women in pink cars so that you can see them coming on the road. You say, pink car, and you can avoid it giving a wide berth. Uh, they do rule the world. Look at Queen Elizabeth II. No, absolutely. I'm a big fan of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, a fantastic lady. Our sovereign lady. So there we are. Massive, massive fan. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying don't be driving during rush hour. Okay? So don't try and turn it into something other than it actually is. All it is, is don't have women on the road during rush hour. It's what we are saying. And I don't think that's too much to ask. So there you are. So tell us what you think. And um, we, shall, uh, we shall take your point. Women can't drive on the motorway. No, they can't actually. You very often see them hogging the middle lane, doing about 50 miles an hour. So there you are. Uh, women drivers should have a flag on their car to alert other drivers, right? I think that's a very, very fair point, so we'll go for that one. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the program. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, with lunchtime pop-up on Periscope. Uh, spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue is live on Periscope just for you, saying dinky-doo. Uh, let's have your reactions, please. Our main subject for discussion today. Should women be allowed on the road during rush hour in our towns and cities across the world? Should, you should ban van drivers at rush hour. Women are more uniform and drive slower. Yes, I know all this. We know they drive slow, but slow driving is not necessarily safe driving. You can have quick driving that's safe driving with very switched on people. Women tend to slow the flow down because they do have this constant speed. Uh, so there we are. Um, I don't know what you were saying there, actually. It disappeared far too quickly. Let me know where you're watching from, of course. Pop that up as well. Very, very important. What about women that drive ambulances? Well, I mean, they're very, very highly trained. I mean, I don't know how many women ambulance drivers there are. But they're very highly trained. Uh, so if I was driving at 100 miles an hour, I'd be safer than driving at 50. Yes, if you were driving unsafely at 50 or 50 in a very restricted area, uh, you know, but if you're driving at 100 on a very, very safe autobahn or what have you, then, um, you know, you're, you're not any more at risk than driving at 50 in a built-up area. So do tell us. A lot more than you think. Uh, a lot more than I think what? Women ambulance drivers. I drive a push bike. Well, there we are. Well, you see, should cyclists be off the road during rush hour as well? Because they bring extra hazards to the main road. So do tell us what you think about that. If you're a cyclist, also, should you be banned? Apart from the stopping distance, yes, of course, we've measured that. So if you're on a clear autobahn in good weather, with a good safe roads, with a good safe car, and you're doing a high speed, obviously, you would take your stopping distances into account. Do you ride a push bike? Yes, I have ridden a push bike, but never during rush hour. I'm not one of these clad in um, all the uh, stretchy lycra stuff with the helmet and the lights all over me and the cameras and all that sort of stuff. So there we are. Any more points? Any more points, guys? You're watching Scotty McClue. I am the World's Top Broadcaster. This is the World's Top Program. And we're live on Periscope Live. Lots and lots to talk about today. We're trying to make the roads a lot safer. And it's been raised, should women drivers be banned during rush hour? Tell us what you think about that and give us your comments. I don't go near any busy roads on my bike. No, well, you're very wise. If you don't feel safe, a very wise thing to do. Spread the word, guys. Share this broadcast. Share, 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 share. Anything to do with Scotty McClue that you see on the internet, you get sharing big style. 
Uh, should you be banned? Don't be ridiculous. What a stupid thing to say. Uh, what about old men? I don't know anything about old men. I don't know how to make the roads safer. Don't remove women. Remove the really old guys. Why shouldn't women be allowed to drive during rush hour? Very good to have your points, guys. Keep your points coming. Let's have some more hearts. I've only got 55,000 hearts when I started the program. I should have a lot more than that. So tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, 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 tap. Get tapping as quickly as you possibly can. Miss that comment. Send me through again. Also, can you send me through where you're watching the program? Right? Very important to know where you're watching. Is this for hearts? Yes. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, tap, tap. That's what I said for the hearts. Lol. Lots of lol going on here. Thank you for that. You're watching Scotty McClue. I am the world's top broadcaster. Uh, I've gone, says James. Goodbye, James. Bye. Take care of yourself. Have a lovely day. Tremendous. That's what we want. So, as quick as you possibly can, folks. Very, very important. There we go. Now, who have we got here? Nottingham. I'm on my phone in Nottingham. Ah, dinky-doo. Spread the word. Everybody should be on their phones. Very, very important. We want that. We want more people on their phones saying dinky-doo to Scotty McClue and coming up for a bit of chat at lunchtime on the lunchtime pop-up. Marvellous. Do you like the fact that Scotty McClue is back in touch with you? Very, very important. Do let me know. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're in India, Africa, Canada, America. So there we go. Australia, New Zealand, the Arctic, the Antarctic. Do let us know. Can I have more hearts, please? Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap on the screen. Do you like cats? I love cats. I like in particular the big blue points. So there you are. And uh, I'm watching from the moon. Well, hang on, there's an idiot. We'll just, what we'll do is we'll just block you. Bye, idiot. Blocked, blocked. So there, you'll never, ever, ever see that idiot's name on Periscope again. Marvellous, blocked. Beautiful, isn't that lovely? So there we go. That's what we do with the idiots. Off they jolly well go. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching me, Scotty McClue, capital S, small c, or double T I E. That's the Scotty, the McClue, capital M, small c, capital C L U E. And we're broadcasting live on Periscope. Several things up for discussion. Anything you'd like to discuss, do just send me a notification and we shall do that. Uh, we're talking today about women drivers. Should we ban women from driving on the major roads throughout the world during rush hours? All right. So there we are. Gay men cause accidents too. I'm sure they do in probability. Where are you from? I'm from I'm one of the world ambassadors for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So there we are. We need self-driving cars. I think he means cars. Yes, self-driving cars. Well, they are being developed, but that would take the fun out of driving. There's a number of occasions I could probably have done with a self-driving car. Uh, we can't ban women drivers. That will take away from their rights. Well, no, they'd be forfeiting their rights if they're regarded as dangerous on the roads during rush hour. From Glasgow, we need smart humans. Well, You've got a very smart human in Scotty McClue. I think the whole world would agree with that. Dinky-doo. Uh, we should tax them more, says James. Yes, higher tax for women drivers on their cars. A very, very fair idea. So let us know to your notifications. Also share the broadcast again, please. Share, 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 share. This broadcast should be available to everyone on social media. Uh, I want to tax you more. I'm sure you do. You're already taxing me by just irritating us all by coming up all the time. So time to push off, James. Not too much of that. Otherwise, we'll have to say ta-ta, ta-ta to you. And that's not easy. What you could do, James, 